Hey there, this is AJ with Peterson Salt. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview on some of the different bypasses you will see on your water softener. So right now this is a, a Fleck 5600 SXT. We went through that one a little bit in our, in our previous video. It's got the lever style bypass. That's going to be pretty common on, on most Fleck units. A lot, of, a lot of different Fleck softeners will use that, that same style. Next here we've got a clack softener and they're going to use a little more of a, of a plastic tool valve bypass here. And so right now if you come down in your basement you've got one of these. It's going to be, the levers are going to be pointing in line with the plumbing. And that means the water is going into the softener, it's going out, everything's working. If you needed to shut it down, you're going to go in the direction of the arrow. So it says off and the arrow is pointing that way. So you're going to just simply turn that and then do the same with your second one here. You're going to turn that as well so that they are out of line with the plumbing. That means water is not allowed to enter the valve. It's just going to go in and around. And next here, we've got an audit roll softener here. This one's got a newer bypass on it. This is a little bit of a newer style. It's going to kind of be the same as this, this clack. It's going to have the two, the two knobs on the top there. And instead of saying off, they're going to say bypass. And so what you're going to do to shut this one off is you're just going to simply turn them in the direction of the arrow so that they're out of line with the plumbing. And that's just going to show, show bypass still there. And so that's going to block the water off from going into the unit. Sometimes you're going to need a little extra leverage to get those if they've been sitting for a while. So that you can use a crescent wrench or any kind of pliers just to help you move those smoothly. So in some of the ones, older ones, they're going to have a push button style bypass very similar to this one. This is going to be off of a, of a Sears, Kenmore, GE, a lot of different, a lot of different styles there that, that will use this. And this one is just simply a push to bypass as it says right there. And you just push it in to shut the water off to the unit and you push it back out to turn it back on. The ones on the Auditrols are normally going to be a brass style with a red button and a blue button on either side but very similar to this. 